Hey guys, Michael Stillwell here from Stillwell Pianos in Mesa, Arizona, and you just listened to a really awesome Kawhi KG2C made in 1981. Now, for those of you that don't know too much about Kawhi KG2s, Kawhi, uh, the KG model was Kawhi's highest end at the time when these were made. They've since been replaced by the RX, and now I think it's the GX or something. I don't know. We don't get them because they're really new, and we're a used piano store, and they just haven't gotten to us yet. But this was their high end, and from what I understand, this is what the scale design that Kawhi went back to because the RX series didn't pan out as well as they had liked as far as consumer reviews and stuff. A lot of the people really preferred these scale designs a little bit better. So they've got now gone back to these KG2 uh, scale designs. On top of that, this is a KG2C. I don't know what the difference is, if I'm being completely honest, between a KG2C or a KG2D, but I do know that most people are going after the Cs, which is what this one is. Um, there's probably some piano nerd on YouTube that can tell you all about this. I'm not that nerd right now, although a lot of times I am the nerd. This piano also has a wet can sand casted plate. So if you've watched our video, you know I talk about this a lot because I am a piano technician. Wet sand casted plates are what we see in Steinways, Mason Hamlin, Beckstein, Blutner, Bolsendorfer, all the high end stuff always use wet sand casting as opposed to V Pro. V Pro came out in the 70s by Yamaha. It was a way to make these plates a lot faster. It basically took a normal six month cure time for a wet sand casted plate and dropped that down to about three and a half minutes for a V Pro plate. But the only way to make that work is to add tin to the actual iron that makes these plates which is why sometimes we hear us piano technicians say, that piano sounds tinny. It's because it has that kind of metallic-y sound and a lot of that comes from the actual plate itself. And this has a wet sand casted plate. So that's why you heard a lot more warmer, rounder tones as opposed to kind of a more brighty, punchy tone. So guys, if you have any question about this particular piano or any other piano on our website, always feel free to shoot me an email at michael at stillwellpianos.com. Thanks for watching, guys.